I'm here with my favourite patient, Nico. Uh, if you remember earlier um, videos we shot, young Nico was very class three. He was maxillary deficient and he wore a face mask and he had the world record of taking his face mask on and off. Do you remember how quickly you did it? Yep, five seconds. Five seconds, seconds. it was amazing. Yeah. So now that he's had a big growth spurt, if you look at the last little video, it's only a short kid. Now look at the size of him, right? Um, but unfortunately for kids with a class three, as they grow tall, their, their mandible grows. So how do we avoid jaw surgery later? We use these things called bollards. So what bollards are, uh, they're two tads, if you like, or skeletal anchors in the mandible and two in the maxilla, and then the patient wears elastic. So I want you to see how easy this is. Nico, do you want to put your elastics on? Oh yeah, sure. So, two here. This one. Has to. Great. So if you have a look, you can see bite together. Our Nico's bite now has come back from being class three back into class one. Great. If you use elastics to teeth, it's only going to move the teeth. Here we're moving the jaw. There's a technique developed in Belgium um, by Dr. Hugo de Klerk, uh, and it's called a bollard. And if I show you here, the surgical plates are placed. We just cut a little link in the last loop, and that allows the patient to wear the elastic. And then we start with a light elastic, get them used to it, and then we go to a, um, a heavier elastic. So the benefit of doing this while the, the child's growing is that we can make sure that when we are ready to do our final stage of alignment, we don't have a, a severe underbite that normally would need orthopedic um, uh, surgery. Well, how was the surgery? You, you, you want to tell um, the audience? Well, I went to sleep. Okay, and then, right. <laughs> then I woke up and yeah, I was just kind of like, stiff in my mouth because like I had stitches and stuff but okay. after a couple of weeks it just went away. Yeah. It feels normal now. Yeah. And easy putting elastic on, no problems uh, there? Yeah. Yeah. So I think if you compare the option of having to use a face mask, which no one's going to wear at school, right? Yeah. So um, yeah. Uh, these elastics, they're really not visible, but we get a skeletal change. So if you want further information, send me an email. I can send you the article by Dr. Hugo de Klerk on bollards and also the long-term research on skeletal anchors for class three. But I think this is the future for correcting skeletal discrepancies without having to resort to orthopedic uh, surgery.